This is not one of the stories where the interview goes really well and I get the job of my dreams. In fact, everything else happens and by the end of it, I'm at the brink of tears. I had just started my junior year at Washington State University and I knew that in order for me to afford the studies, I had to get a paid internship. Headquartered in Pullman, Washington is a company named SCL, Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories. They are a well-known electrical engineering company. I made my focus to get a job with them and I put down a game plan. Step one, attend resume work workshop because I had no idea how to write one. Step two, go to career fair and casually hand out my resume to SEL to not make it look like I'm super, super obsessed with them. Step three, nail the interviews and get the internship. It was time to attend the resume workshop. In fact, it looked more like tearing me into pieces and slapping me across the face workshop because my existing resume was so, so bad. Thankfully, I got it right eventually and ended up with one page of glory. I put on my best suit, really the only one I had, and printed out a bunch of copies of my resume. I then headed to the career fair and started small talk with companies I didn't want to intern for because I wanted to get my jitters out. Most of them shooed me away anyways after they found out I was an international student and needed sponsorship eventually. Now the moment to talk with SCL recruiting team was up. I approached them and said, hi, made some small talk and handed my resume. For your convenience, I've broken it down into three parts. Professional resume, athletic and special skills resume, and why troop trivia. The lady didn't even look at it and just put it on a stack of papers and told me they would reach out to me if I am a good fit. On a cold fall evening, I got an email from SCL that said, Hey bro, we love your resume. Let me know your availability for a phone interview. I played it cool and didn't want to sound desperate. So I said, I'm available anytime for you guys, day or night. I had a quick talk over the phone with the recruiter and tried to answer some technical and non-technical interview questions. Like, what is a resistor? What is an impedance? What makes you so awesome? And so on. She contacted me a few days later and said that they went with another candidate and would contact me later for a different position because they love me, obviously. A few months go by and I'm reached out again by SEL. They asked me a few technical interview questions about memory and some other stuff, which I didn't know how to answer. Despite of that, they invited me for an on-site interview for a hardware engineer internship position. And I show up in my best suit my only one, as you guys already know, and I'm being interviewed by a panel of three engineers. First questions are about the technical interview questions I could not answer previously over the phone, and I still didn't know how to answer them. Hi, uh... I know, I know guys, I didn't know you can die twice with these questions. I did not know that. I didn't, I didn't. Someone should have told me that. They proceed with other questions that I was able to answer. Everyone is super excited by the end of the interview. A few weeks go by and they say they went with another candidate. But the recruiter said that the engineering team really liked me and thought I might be a good fit for another team on a research and development project. So they set up my final on-site interview. She said, we usually only consider PhD and master students for this internship. And you are very smart. So you might be a good fit. And the reason why they thought I was really smart is because I had a 4.0 GPA, but that didn't mean anything. I mean, I, was, I knew how to pass the classes. I certainly didn't know how to be a master's or a PhD student and qualify for any of that. Isn't it crazy though? But I mean, I thought like, whoa, yeah. Heck yeah, I'm super smart. Obviously I can do this. I put on my best suit and head out to the interview. This time, an interviewed by a staff hardware engineer and an engineering manager. There was no small talk. The staff engineer jumped into the technical interview questions right away. I don't remember most of them because I didn't know how to answer them. Some were about advanced circuitry, algorithms, and VLSI. But there was one that I remembered because it was a bit funny. For this one, he asked to get a square root without using a formula or an algorithm. Five minutes go by and I can't figure it out. Then the guy writes a formula on the whiteboard and says, this is how you do it. And I'm like, you just said no formula or algorithm and then wrote one on the board. Wait, are you serious? I was just so confused and like, he's like, okay, okay. Well, you're fair enough, fair enough. I, I, you're, you're right, you're right. I messed up that one. <laughs> I'm like, dude. EMOTIONAL, damn it! After an hour of these intense questions that I didn't know how to answer or, or tried to BS my way through, 
the interview finally ends. I could feel that my face was so red as my eyes were starting to fill with water as I'm being escorted out of the building in handcuffs. No, no, no handcuffs. <laughs> it, was, it was fine, like, it was civil. I was just about to cry at any moment. I probably cried myself to sleep at that night. I politely said goodbye and never heard from that company ever again. I learned a lot through this interview process and despite of it going so bad, I ended up getting internships with different companies, which was good and things turned out to be great. If you wanna see my full story of how everything went and how I became an embedded software engineer eventually, look at this uh, story here. There's a card here, click on it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your first interview experiences in the comment section below. Also, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit that like button. Other than that, I'm out of here. Bye.